Coach Simmons here, and we're about to get back into something real quick. We do understand that the transfer portal is over as far as new kids getting in. Now what? Just in case people are trying to figure out or trying to wonder about the dates, the final. This is actually from the uh, Saturday Tradition Big Ten Football website um, about the NCAA. Basically, they extended it to July 1st as far as the uh, deadline for the fall of when the athletes notify the schools they want to transfer. Uh, normally, it's back, I believe it's May 1st, I believe. Uh, but now, uh, any student athlete was previously transferred from another four-year school would not be able to use this one-time exception as a postgraduate. Uh, basically, it's, it's once you transfer to another FBS school, um, you can't uh, use that exception to transfer again. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, like Coach Walker said, you got to know what you're doing in that transfer portal for us, the kids. Now, looking in the transfer portal, what's left, there are plenty of kids left in here. You have a couple of kids just, just barely made it, I believe. Um, the guy from Alabama, Auburn, um, Devin Barnett, Claret, and a Temple Hass over here from Liberty. It's a bunch of kids who are still waiting, um, hoping someone gives them a call, somebody gives them the response they need back. Of course, you can see the amount of people whose lives are going to be changed if they get recruited back or not. Um, just looking at this as well, what you got to remember, oh, there's more. What you got to remember, uh, this has been the get out of jail free card for a lot of coaches. A lot of coaches were pretty bad at recruiting and so they just went to a transfer portal to get kids who are already uh, ready quote unquote pre-developed but now that this is over this is done that in the center. what's next for coaches? And the thing you gotta look at is once they get through scouring everybody left over in here, what do they gotta do? You can't just keep going to transfer portal. You have to develop kids. Because if you can't develop a kid, why would one come to you? Well, let me check this out. There's one kid I'm looking at actually in particular. If I told you somebody had 66 tackles. 30 solo, 36 assists, 15 for loss, 12 sacks, one pass uh, broken up, 16 quarterback pressures, one block PAT, one block punt, one forced fumble, two fumble recoveries, and one touchdown. And they were the 6A first team all district. They reached out. Did not know exactly how to reach out. I guess the kids' school was not uh, as in contact. But he reached out. But, of course, coaches are looking more into the portal. What does this kid look like? 6'3", 270. Nose tackle, a.k.a. D tackle. He's just basically a bull. He, he's not going to show that he has the great speed, but you need kids who just get the job done. Kids who want to be there, who are always in the right spot every single time. Half the height, half the power, most importantly, half the instinct. Sometimes you gotta just build a wall and be there for them. You don't even have to put an arrow by this kid. Look for the ball and he's there. Pre-snap pre read, 
Here he is. This is raw ability. And no, he's not a five star, not a four star. Even with all those stats, being 6A district, <laughs> um, first team all district in Texas, they ranked him with a zero star. Because looking at it, yeah, he does need to work on a couple of things as far as technique and as well as uh, a little more speed. But that's what you have coaches for, right? You can't coach instinct. These are the kind of kids HBCUs need. Kids that want to be here. Kids that want to show what they can do and dominate. So I'm, I'm looking at them. I'm, I'm calling out. Texas Southern. Valley. Prairie View. Arkansas Pine Bluff. You mean to tell me you don't want a kid like this on your team? Are you kidding me? Oh, Southern. Alabama a and getting everybody else. Jackson, he reached out to you specifically. <laughs> Can't deny it, man. Find the ball, you'll find him. Well, that's it for the day. <laughs> Moral of the story today is you can get all you want from the from the transfer portal, but as a coach, you gotta start finding them diamonds in the rough. And you damn sure gotta start recruiting, and coaching. you have a wonderful day. Happy 4th of July. I know it's late. But hey, why not?